What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released the third beta of iOS 10.3.2 to registered developers and in this video we're going to be covering what's new in this new beta firmware. So as you can see the size of the beta 3 update was about 193 megabytes for me on the iPhone 7 coming from 10.3.2 beta 2 but obviously this size is going to vary depending on your device and the firmware you came from. And taking a look at the build number you can see the build number is 14F5080A so it's another long build number in a small size for this update at just under 200 megabytes, which most likely means that this only fixes some bugs, some behind the scenes bugs, stuff we won't even notice. And this long build number also means that this is not the GM build. So next week is a possibility for the GM build or the following week, we just don't know at this point until that time comes. So please don't ask me when the final version is gonna be out. I don't know at this point, but we do know that this is not the GM build. As for the battery life, beta three is not likely gonna change anything from beta two, which by the way, it's been terrific. The battery life has been great on 10.3.2, especially beta two. So beta one was all right, you know, it was better than 10.3.1, but 10.3.2 beta two definitely improved battery. It was a noticeable difference on beta two. So I'm assuming beta three is gonna be the same way. I haven't had enough time to test it just yet though. So what exactly has changed in 10.3.2 beta three? And the thing is not much. So if you go ahead and open up the release notes here from Apple, you can see that the thing it says fixed in this release and it just talks about stuff that has already been fixed previously. So that pretty much indicates that nothing has changed in 10.3.2 beta three that we can actually see with our own eyes right now. And that makes sense, you know, with such a small update, like I said, under 200 megabytes for me and still such a long build number with an A at the end. So we can't really expect you know, too much to come from an update like this. However, one bug that many people have been experiencing, people that have messaged me and also people that I've seen online since beta one, and some even said it happened in 10.3.1, but it's that the automatic iCloud backups are failing and giving you a quote, the backup could not be completed error. So I'm not sure if this is gonna be fixed in the final release of 10.3.2, but obviously I hope it is because that is one of the you know biggest bugs that's going around right now that has not been fixed just yet. So I definitely recommend updating to 10.3.2 if you are not interested in jailbreaking. If you are interested in jailbreaking, just stay on the lowest firmware possible. Uh, you know, 10.2 or 10.2.1 is what you should be on right now. And if you have an iPhone 5S and you're not interested in jailbreaking, I would definitely update to 10.3.2 because I noticed the biggest changes on the 5S, especially in the battery life department. The speed has also been improved on 10.3.2, even for from 10.3.1. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is just a very quick video on iOS 10.3.2 beta three. And as I always say, I just wanna make you guys, you know, up to date. I just wanna make you guys aware of these new releases from Apple. I wanna cover every iOS release, regardless of its significance, just to keep you guys as updated as possible. Also expect a lot of new videos this week, especially later in the week and into the weekend. I'm gonna be making videos. I'm gonna be making a jailbreak tweaks video, some videos on the Samsung Galaxy S8 and a lot more. So stay tuned for that. I'm also gonna be going live some time this week. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.